All right, good afternoon everyone. We are going to have a PE lesson. Our PE lesson today is going to be fitness based. It's going to be very similar to before half term. Out here today, we've got year six and we've also got the year fives that come out to join us. So today, they're going to be working hard, but we need a little bit of space. So if you are in a classroom, if you're at home, just I'll give you 30 seconds, move some space if you've got any, make sure there's no tables, nothing you can fall over, just have a little bit of space to do your exercise. And we'll give you 30 seconds quickly to move some things around. So today, we are going to focus on cardio again. When we're doing our cardio exercise, you'll be on your spot. You won't need to move around too much. So when we get going, we'll start off with a warm up, then we're into a activity and then the cool down just before we finished. So first off, warm up, we're going to start off with three different movements. We're going to have a jog for 30 seconds, a walk and then a march just to get our arms and legs working, get the heart rate going and then we'll move on to five different activities. Does that make sense? Year six? Year five? Right, 30 seconds starting from now. So it's just going to be a little jog, knees on the spot, little steps, arms, you're going to pump them up to your ears. So we're using our ears pocket that we've done in PE. Just little steps, arms, pump them up and down. So bring it all the way up. Try and stay on your toes. As you're moving, arms as high as it can go to your ears. Bring your knees up. Still little steps. I don't want to see this. Quick steps, arms pumping up to your ears. Five seconds to go, keep going, keep going Victoria. Well done Felix, keep going. And stop, give yourself a shake. We're then going to give it on to the walk. But when we're doing the walk, I want to see your knee up. So your walk, knee up, walk, knee up. So just bring your knee up, stretch them leg muscles, so step backwards and forwards, knee up. Still pumping your arms. So as you step, Pump your arm up, little step up, well done Felix. Emma, well done, bring your knee up a little bit more. That's it, good girl. Run girls, up, all the way up, still on your spot. Five more seconds to try and pump your arm and knee up. And stop, give yourself a shake. Arms and legs. Next one you're gonna do, again, very similar to our knees, but we're gonna be jogging, and it'll be knees up, so knees as high as they can go. So as you're moving, still pumping your knees up, arms go all the way to your ears. Try and still stay on your toes. You're pushing off your toes. Knees go straight up. Keep going, girls. Come on. It's only a little warm up. Try not to swing your legs. Keep really, really close to your body. Knees up. Felix, where am I bringing my ears? My ears, my hands too. Where am I bringing them to? Good boy. And stop. Give yourself a shake. So now you've got your breathing up, your heart rate going. We're now going to move on to some stretches. We're going to go from head down to our toes. So the first one is our neck and our head. You're going to go one direction, little circles. As you look around, for example, year six is now, how many people can you see around you? Have a count as you move your head down in the direction. Little circles, and stop, back the other way. This time, count how many things you can see that are blue. As you move your head around in circles, how many things can you see that are blue? And to the sky. And to the floor. And to the right. To the left. And to the sky again. And to the right. And to the floor. To the left. To the sky. To the floor. And give your head a shake. Do little movements again. From here, we're now going to move on to our arms. So, a bit like we're swimming. Arms in front of you. We're going to bring one arm over, back to the middle. You can only move the other arm when it gets back. So you bring your arm over in a cycle, then your other arm goes. If you can get them in line, get a bit quicker. So you'll start to push your arms like you are swimming. Really, really big circles. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your arms. So over your head and down. Really, really reach over. Well done, year five. Well done, Malachi. And stop. We're now going to change it. So now we've done our front crawl, we're now going to go backwards. So arms go behind you, back round to your start position. So back round, start position, back round, start position. So you keep pushing it backwards and forwards. Try not to swing your arm out wide, so over your head and back. Really, really stretch it and over and back and over and back. If you're doing these exercises and you feel a bit tired, give yourself five, ten seconds, count to ten, then join back in. You don't need to push it all the time. 
If you feel tired, you feel like you're starting to ache, have a rest, then carry on. Like that, Emma, well done. Next one, give your arms again. We're gonna go to our hands, hands together. You're gonna hold your own hand. It's gonna be little circles. This one, you're not shaking your hands, it's moving your wrists. So little circles as you move, little circles with your wrists. Hands apart, still together touching. You're now gonna do a little wave to one side. Really, really stretch your hands, stretch your wrists, stretch your elbows, and back the other way. So really looking to stretch our entire body out so we are ready to do some exercise. And stop. We're now going to work on our lower body. So legs apart. We're going to have front, middle, and reach for your legs to the back. So the first one we're going to do is slowly down to the middle. Remember, when you're doing this stretch, don't just reach. That's how you pull a muscle. So slowly reach down. From this position, we're going to walk our hands out forward. Try and get your hands flat if you can. Keep them back legs straight, don't bend them. And slowly walk them back to the middle. From here, we're going to walk them back through our legs this time. So all the way back behind you. Hold it, keep your legs straight. And slowly back to the middle. And slowly walk them back up your legs to your standing. Slowly come up. Next one. One foot in front, one foot behind. This stretch is going to do our muscles in our legs again, but don't bounce. You're not bouncing on that leg. Hold it. So keep the back leg straight, front leg bending. So you're pushing right on that front leg. You have your hand on your leg. You can have it behind you. You can have it in front of you. Just balance on it. Don't bounce. Try and hold that stretch. And stop. We'll go to the other leg. So turn your body the opposite direction. One foot down. Get the foot behind you. Leg stretch forward. Keep that back leg straight again. So really, really hold it. And back up, give your legs a shake. Last one we're going to have, it's up to you. You can do it for your foot on the floor or you're holding it, however good your balance is. So little circles with your foot. If it's too difficult holding it in a balance, foot on the floor, little circles. It's up to you, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And stop the other foot. So again, just little circles, looking nice and controlled. It's a warm-up, it's not a race, it's not an exercise that really needs high intensity, little circles. And stop, and give your whole body a shake, arms, legs, hands, give it all a shake off. Now we've, we've raised the heart rate, we've stretched our muscles and our body, we're now going to move on to our exercises. We're going to have five exercises. First exercise, we're going to go through together. So it's going to be a, a knee cross. So when you're standing still, we did it the other week, it's knee comes up, to your elbow. You can either do it jogging, so if I'm standing here, I'm jogging, knee comes up, but it's to my opposite elbow, so I bring it up, I crunch down, I bring it up, crunch. You can do it standing, so it's just knee up, or if you're feeling more confident and you want a challenge, jogging and up, jogging and up. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, bit different, bit of an easy one, it will just be star jumps. So on the spot, 30 seconds, as many as you can, Nice and simple. Get your arms and legs separated nice and wide. That's exercise number two. Number three. Are you ready? It will be marching. But when you're marching, up. Now you're right up. Push it up. So you're pushing off your toes. If I'm standing here, I'm pushing my arms. When I'm ready to pull my knee up, I push it up. Push off my other toe. And up and push. And up and push. That's exercise number three. Number four, you may need a little bit of space. It's going to be a burpee. So your burpee, you're going to come down in your press up, from this position here, you jump your knees into your hands, then you jump up. From this position, you're then back down into your press up. For this position, for a burpee, if you feel tired, have 20 seconds and then come back. If you can only do five burpees, that's okay. We're looking for quality, not how many you can do, we're not looking for quality. How many you can do is not a problem. It's how good they are and how much it affects you. Number five is a different one. Number five, again, hands behind your bottom or your sides. You'd be pumping your arms, heels coming to your bottom. That is exercise number five. Does that make sense? So, first exercise, we are doing each one 30 seconds each. So, we're going to do it twice. Starting off, Felix, what was the first exercise?
Victoria, what was the first exercise? It was a knee cross, a knee cross, you're going to come across. So 30 seconds starting from now, off you go. So elbow, up to you, either jogging or standing, just bring your knee to your opposite elbow. So really, really twist your body. So as you do it, knee, twist, knee, a twist, knee, a twist, every time. Again, if you need a rest, try not to jump. You're not jumping into it, it's stand, jogging, stop, twist, jogging, stop, twist. Keep going, 10 seconds left. Keep going, really, really pump your arms so in. Lovely, Daniel, well done. So pump in, in, twist your body. And five, four, three, two, and a one. Well done. Exercise number two. Who remembers what exercise number two was? Vanessa. I'll give you a clue. It was star jumps. So we're out here again. Remember, nice and wide arms, nice and straight legs. So you're out, ready, and go. So as many as you can in them 30 seconds. If you know you're going to get tired, don't do your star jump so fast. Just slowly get your movement. As long as you've got the shape and the form, that's enough. As many as you can. 15 seconds. Really, really pushing off your toes. Try not to stand flat-footed. Off your toes. Now we're here. And we're out, and five, four, three, two, one. Give your arms and legs a shake. Malachi, what's number three? It was burpees. So again, number three, you're down here. Everyone in their hands ready to go. When we're all in our press up, I will start the timer. This one, remember, it's not as many as you can do. If you need to do it slowly, take it slowly. 30 seconds, off you go. Let's jump in, jump up. So again, just so you can see, arms straight, jump in, jump up. Down again, into your press up, nice and slowly, no rush. In, up, as many as you can. So you jump in, hands flat to the floor, jump in goes, that's it, and up. Keep going, keep going. Get down here, really, really, keep your hands flat to the floor, jump in, Push up as many as you can. Well done, Felix. Keep going. Ten. Keep going, Malachi. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Number four is going to be our marching. Remember, you're marching, but you're pushing off your toes. So you're pushing up really high with that knee. If you want to, either bring your hands to your ears. What I'd like you to try is up. Arm up, up, arm up, off you go. So again, 30 seconds, marching, push up, off them toes, arm reach to the sky, and up, and reach. Again, really, really pushing off your toes. It shouldn't be on your feet flat. You're here, push up, you're here, push up again. Really, really stretch that body. Stretch your legs, stretch your toes. I'm looking around you, five and six, I'm very impressed. So push up and down. And push up, good. 10 more seconds. 10 more. Three, two, one. And looking this way. Right, next one. We're going to move on again. It's the last one of the five. It is going to be your heels to your bottom. For this one, 30 seconds. I want to see if we can get everyone on Zoom and everyone here to do it for full 30 seconds as much as you can. If you don't feel comfortable, just that normal jogging and bring it to your bottom. Hands behind, off you go. 30 seconds, really work as hard as you can. Well done, Malachi, well done, Felix. Well done, Daniel, Victoria, fantastic. So as you're jogging, try and really, really pump your legs. Remember, running off your toes, not your whole foot. Push off them toes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. I'm going to give everybody a minute rest. Everyone here, minute rest. If you need a drink on Zoom, go and get a drink, come back, and we'll start the five exercises one more time each. So just get quickly get yourself a rest. If you're feeling out of breath, remember, don't sit like this. Don't sit down. Hands behind your head. Breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. 
Keep your arms nice and out wide. You need to open up your airways, keep your body open. 30 more seconds. Really, really take this time to get your rest in so that you have as much energy as you can to keep going for the next five exercises. So, exercise number one. What was it? Who remembers out of year five and six here? What was exercise number one? Not sure, can't remember. Good. It is elbow to knee. So again, up to you whether you do it standing, whether you do it to your elbow and you're jogging, up to you. It's just really, really want to work on that twist. So you bring your knee up, but it's also a twist to your elbow. Ready? 30 seconds of each starts now. So knee up, down. Off you go. So really, really bring that elbow into your knee. Really, really work it. Push it right in, pump it in, and turn. And next one, good. And bring it up, and twist. Really, really push yourself. I know it's, we've already done a whole lot of exercises, but this is the last ones. Last ones we're doing and we're finished, and then we've got a cool down. So really, really push that, so you push yourself to push it as fast as you can, as hard as you can. And in, 10 more seconds. Really, really pump yourself. So on the spot, jogging, pump it. On the spot, jogging, pump it. Pump that knee into your elbow. And freeze, give your body a shake. Who remembers what the next exercise was? It was star jumps, so straight into star jumps. We're not gonna have a break this time. So again, apart, arms straight, legs straight, off you go. So we're out, as many as you can in 30 seconds. Still jumping off your toes. Don't stand on your feet, because it's gonna hurt. On your toes, push up, and out every jump. Push out as far as you can go. Keep going, keep going. Even if you're feeling tired, get a bit quicker if you can. Last 10 seconds, really, really push yourself. Four, three, two, one. Give your arms and legs a shake. Number three is burpees. This is the hardest one that we've got left. So burpees, again, I'm not looking for how many you can do. It's how good and how good your form is. So really, really concentrate on keeping your body nice and tight, nice and strong. Ready? 30 seconds. Now, off you go. Hands down, into your press up. Remember, jump your knees in, then jump up. So you're back down again. Hands go on the floor. Bring your knees in, jump up, down. So every time you're really, really looking to be explosive. So again, feet together, hands flat to the floor, jump in, jump up. And you're going back down again. Keep going. 10 more seconds. So again, hands flat to the floor. Keep your feet together, jump your knees into your hands and up. And hold it there, give your arms and legs a shake. Last two exercises. So the next one, it's the march you might remember. Knee goes up, push off the other toe. If you really want to challenge yourself, push up. Opposite arm goes up, so you're really pushing that knee forward. Propel that knee up, ready? 30 seconds from now, off you go. Add a jog in if you want to challenge. Add a jog, stop, push. Add a jog, stop push just so you can see here and push up so keep going on the spot knee up off your toes not jumping remember we're not pushing up like this off your toe push up so keep going 10 more seconds remember boys it's not a jump it's a push you're here knee up push off your toe add that jogging well done Daniels push up five four three two one and freeze. Last one we're going to do is our simple, or last two, sorry. No, last one, sorry. Last one. I've got mixed up. Last one we're going to do is our heels to our bottom. As it's our last one, I want everyone to really work as hard as they can. Last exercise. Ready? Hands behind your bottom or using it to run. Up to you, but bring your heels up to your bottom. Off you go. Really, really push yourself to go as fast as you can. See if you can do the whole 30 seconds without stopping. As fast as you can, bring them heels all the way up, touching your bottom and back down to the floor. Still pushing off your toes. Don't be standing flat footed. Off your toes, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. 10, keep going, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Give yourself a shake, arms and legs. Last thing we're gonna do. We do only have a cool down left. A cool down is nice and slow. Remember, as we said before half term, a cool down is not a race. It's to slow your heart rate down, slow your breathing, so it's nice and slow. We're gonna take it easy. We're gonna do a jog, nice and easy. We'll do a walk to slow our body down on the spot. And then we'll do some stretches just to finish and slow our body down completely. So, 20 seconds of a jog, off you go. If you look at me, I'm not really, really pushing myself, arms pumping them, I'm on the spot. Little steps, really, really slowing my heart rate down. I'm looking to slow my whole body down completely. Not looking to break a sweat. Really, really slowly, don't worry. Keep going, keep going. And stop, we're gonna change it into a walk. Just on the spot, just walking, little steps. Little steps. Really, really, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how slow you do it. Just little steps, get that, and then get them legs moving still. Keep pushing, keep pushing very slowly. And stop. We're gonna go back to the stretches we started with. So again, straight to the head or toes first. Head, head. starting from head first, down to our toes, ready? Hands on your head, so little circles of your head. This time, how many things, as you move your head round, can you spot with a colour green? So look around your room, look around the playground, look around your classrooms, what can you see? So little circles with your head. Try not to hold it with your hands, little circles. And stop, back the other way. And arms again, so arms in front. Again, like you're swimming, so you can have one here. You can decide to do 10 seconds of one, going forward, 10 seconds again back. So once you've done your 10 seconds, then stop, go backwards. So little circles backwards this time. Try not to swing your arms out here, nice and straight. Just go back, hold it. Count to 10, and then switch back to going forwards again if you feel comfortable. If you need to stop, remember, take a five second break and then come back and join in. So go again, last time round, last 10 seconds, arm goes back, and arms a shake. This exercise, we're going to be sitting on the floor, so we're coming down, sitting on the floor. What you're going to be doing now is nice and easy. We're going to stretch all the way forward, so it's not very far, stretch, walk your hands out as far as they can go, and hold that shape. Try and keep your legs completely straight. Pull as far forward as you can, and you should feel it in your muscles here. So stretch as far as you can forward, and slowly walk them in backwards. Come back to your sitting up position, then reach the right leg all the way to your toe. Don't hold your toe, just reach over it if you can. See if you're far you can reach. Still keeping our legs straight, still pushing your body as far as it can, can go. And come back, and go into the left side. So again, reach in to the left hand side. Really, really don't focus on holding it. Don't hold your toe, just stretch. And come up, and we're back to standing up. Again, last exercise is on our toes before we finish. So the last one, again, I'm looking for little circles. Little circles to the right. And stop, same foot, but little circles the other way. Looking around at year five and sixes that have worked very hard. And stop, and we'll swap legs. So again, this side, still on your toes, still little circles, pushing yourself. And stop, go the other way. And stop where you are. Give your arms and legs a shake. What I'd like to say is well done for the people that are doing it on Zoom and in the classrooms. Can we have, year five and six, give yourself a big round of applause. You have worked very, very hard. So hopefully going forward, we can get some teachers out in front of the camera to do it with me. We might be able to get some exercises of the week, so you guys might be able to pick the exercises that we choose to do. So if you see me around, come and find me, and you can come and pick some exercises that you'd like us to try. So thank you very much, and have a lovely evening. See you later. I'm going to set my friends.
Josh, where's the visor so I don't give away the answer? <coughs> I keep faith to protect my now. And faith. When we're at school, we need to do whatever we can to protect each other. So please wash your hands, cover your face, and make faith.
Mr. Baker. Right, hello everyone at home. Let's see, give us a wave if you can hear me. Rosie, can you hear me? Give us a wave. Kevin, can you hear me? Ollie, can you hear me? Ollie, yes, he's there, right. Um, okay, so, well, welcome to um, this TT Rockstars um, Friday afternoon um, update, challenge, whatever you want to call it. I know lots of you have been working really hard on your times tables. I've seen you on the playground every morning. You're saying yes. I know, Rosie, you're really proud that you've managed to get yourself down below one second. Now, your studio speed is absolutely superb. Um, now, if I go to the stats, let's have a look at the top ten in the school at the moment um, for speed. So, at the moment, we have um, Labib. Um, in year four, who's got a current studio speed of 0 0.66. We've got Daniel in year six, who's 0 0.74. Harry in year six, 0 0.79. Armina in year four, 0 0.8. Rosie in year five, you have managed to get your time down to a fantastic 0 0.82. Areeb in year four, we've got 0 0.87. Mossadine, 0 0.88. Da Vinci, 0 0.89. Miss Ellis leading the teacher's charge. I can see there's 0 0.94. And we've got Neil in year 6 on 0.95 now. Obviously, we started this about a year ago. And, you know, I can say what an amazing, amazing progress people have made to get so much faster at doing their times tables. So, let's have a go, shall we? Let's have a go at studio. Let's go into the studio and all have a go now and see how fast we can get and what we can do when we've done it. If you can turn your laptops around or um, maybe we can unmute one of the classes, we can see kind of what the kinds of times we're getting. I can see we've got some people there in year five. Give us a wave, year five. I can see you there. Morgan's there. Well done. Good to see you all. Um, and Emma. Hello, Emma. Right. OK, so I'm going to go in as well and I'm going to go into studio. Now, I've not done this since before half term, so I could be a little bit slower today, but I, I will share my time and I will be completely honest with you. So I'm in studio now. <coughs> And I'm about to go. So the rest of you as well, get into the studio, have a quick go, and we'll go from there. 2 12s, 24, 10 8s, 80, 9 6s, 54, 32, 12, 3, 12, 3, 9, 3, 108, and 3 6s, 18, 12, 1, 2 is 6, 8 times 16, 2 8s is 16, 6 11, 66, 9 is 12, 9 is 7, 63, 3 2s is 6. 12 times 6 is 2, 11 times 2 is 22, 20 times 7 is 4, 11 times 4 is 44, 9 9 is 81, 3 12 are 36, 7 5 is 35, 3 6 is 18, 7 12 is 84, 8 3 is 24, 3 divided 3 is 10, 6 7 is 42, 9 8 is 50, oh, see, no, go 72, 9 5 is 45, first mistake, never mind, 63, keep going, Mr. Harvey, 12 5 is 60, 3 7 is 21, 4 divided 4 is 12, 5 10 is 50, all right, time up, goodness me. I tried hard. Oh, so let's have a look around at the rest of you. So I managed to get a time of 1.79. Right, Kevin's turning his round. Let's have a look at yours. Hold it still. So we're on 6.67. A great effort, Kevin. Well done to you. Excellent. Anybody else able to turn theirs around now they've done it? Or maybe you've got a whiteboard you can put up. Maybe those of you in year five you can get a little whiteboard and a pen at some point. You can write your time down so we can see those. Hold them up. Rose, are you done? Yeah. You able to turn it around or is it tricky? Okay, so Rose is turning her around. And I can see zero point, is that 0 0.88? Yeah, 0 0.88. That's a good, fantastic. That's, that's half... Half the you know just half the time I'm doing it. Wonderful, um, Ollie. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Was it a good one? Can't see your thumbs. What is he doing? Or maybe he can't hear me. And he's smiling. He's smiling. And um, we've got some other people joining us as well. Right. So let's see. My screen's gone a bit small again. Let's have a look at this. Make it a bit bigger. Right. So so I was one point seven nine there. And 
those of you in year five working away that I can see. Anyone got a good time so far? Working hard, working hard. Oh, so Morgan's had a little go there. Um, maybe if I can go to the stats, I can have a look and see how people are doing. But Mr. Baker, are you still there? I'm just really trying to work out what's going on. Let's have a look. All right. Mm. Okay, right, so what we'll do then? Rosie, 0 0.88 fastest so far. I got 1.7. Anybody faster than 1.79? Anyone faster than 1.79? Anybody? Ollie, it's not that bad. I haven't got to squirt water at me. Thanks, Ollie. Um, anybody faster than five seconds, a question. Anyone faster than five? Anyone faster than six? My oh, rose is there. Anyone faster than seven seconds? Kevin, you were faster than seven seconds. Um, did you have a good one there, Morgan? Was it good? Who else have we got there? Phoebe, okay. Emma, did you have a good one? Maloko at the back. Give us a wave, Maloko. Yeah, it's good stuff. Thumbs up, was it a good one? Not bad, not bad. Okay, right, so Rosie, you got a channel. Rosie, 0 0.88 there. You're going to try and beat 0 0.88. Kevin, you're going to try and beat your time and try and get under six seconds. Ollie, let's see if you can get yourself under, hmm, under five seconds. I know you might be able to do it already. So I'm going to go back in. We'll do one more on the um, studio. Mr. Baker, how? how? <laughs> you, you made it small. Your technical issues here today. We're trying something new. And, um, Little green button, top left or right. Is that one there? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, it's still, it's still. Um, come out there. Right, okay. So, hopefully, can you thumbs up if you can see my screen? Can you all see my screen at home? Yeah, so it's behind me, isn't it? Right, so maybe I need to move a little bit so we can see a bit more. You can see the questions coming up. Now, if I'm very delicate, I'm very delicate because if I make a mistake, it's all going to go. Right, so I'm going to have a go. Um, so my time there, 1.79. 1.72 was my initial studio, so I actually got a bit slower. So it just shows that practice is really important. So I'm going to have another go now. And you can see if I can get any faster. So watch where I'm going here. Here we go. So four threes are 12, five fives, 25, four eights, 32, 15, 10, 5, I might make a mistake. Um, six, nine, nine, this is three, eight is two, five, six, six, five, five is 12, three threes are nine, 12, 12, one, four, four, um, 12, 12, 12, one, four, four, 10, 12, one, two is 20, 11, 12, one, three, two, 12, fours are 48, 12, is three, Four, that would be our first mistake. There we go, keep going, keep going. Ten. Nine times ten is ninety. Twenty-four is six. Is um when we're going four. Two twelves are twenty-four. Eight fours are thirty-two. Fifteen twelve is three. Twelve threes are thirty-six. Twelve sevens are eighty-four. Five fours are twenty. Is seven. Is six. Is eighteen. Is ten. Is where are we? Twelve is four is seven is eighty eight is four is ten. Oh, I'm sure I was faster that time. I hope I was faster. One point seven. Oh, one point six seven. I can see it over here. Hopefully, you can see one point six seven. So that's slightly faster. Thirty six, correct? Much better. Oh, while he's trying to change his background, he's got a green screen behind him. Look at that. I can see the moon's in a new planet. So who else have we got? Anybody? Who, who else is having a go there? We've got somebody else at home. Can't quite see what you're doing at the moment. Rose is working hard. Kevin, much faster. Well done. Great stuff. Faster time there. Excellent. And in year five, has anybody got faster? Anyone getting faster in year five? Oh, okay. Yeah, my loco's getting faster. What we need to try and do, we need some guests in here. I think in a Friday or so's time, Mr. Baker, we need to get some teachers in here trying to show us how fast they are and get a few more people involved. Right, let's see if I can come out of this. And you know what? I must have earned some more points now, so I'm going to try and change change my avatar. You can see it behind me in my, um, over my shoulder. I'm going that way, that way, and that way. You can see it there, my avatar. I fancy changing it. So I might change my... Mm, let's change my hair. I've got pink hair there. What can I get? 
So, oh, I fancy, let me have a look. I fancy going back to my rock star hat. So don't forget, you can change your avatars, make them look really cool. Um, I like that, I like that. Oh, disappeared again, there we go. And, oh, let's try and change my eyes. Let's go to eyes, let's have some rock star eyes. Obviously all these ones here are going to cost me some of my coins, but I've got 3,000 coins. I don't want to spend all of them because it's important that we don't just throw your money away. Let's go for these. Oh, these are like halloween eyes. Oh no, I've got to buy those. I don't want to spend any money this afternoon. My ones are free. Right, let's have the green eyes. They're better. Ah. Guys, I'm going to stop it there. I can hear our fire alarm. Um, so... Those of you at home, keep working away, keep practicing. Those of you in class, you know what to do.
my hands before I go home to keep my family safe. My mum wears a mask to protect everybody. I keep space for my friends in the adventure playground to protect them. If we can use it yet. Hands. Face. Space. I wash my hands to protect In the morning, before break, after break, before lunch, after lunch. I'm surprised I get any time to get any work done. My teacher wears a visor so I don't give away germs. <laughs> I keep space to protect my now. Hands. Face. Space. While we're at school, we need to do whatever we can to protect each other. So please wash your hands, cover your face and make space. Red Riding Hood. Hello, greetings and salutations. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's me, Mr. Buxton, delivering another exciting drama lesson. I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here's what we're going to do. We'll start off with a couple of warm ups, then we'll play a game, and then we will look at the famous story of Red Riding Hood. We will bring it to life through the magical world of drama. Okay, here we go. So, welcome to the interesting... Hmm... Ha! No, 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 no. Hmm... Ha! No, 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 no. Hmm... Ha! Eureka! The amazing... Whoa! Oh, so I'm going to cut, Mr. B. Is that okay? Full start. Let's go from the beginning. Take your time. Red Riding Hood. Hello, greetings and salutations. I do hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining me today. Mr. Buxton here from the drama studio, bringing you another exciting drama lesson. I do hope you enjoy it. We'll start up. Ah! Lost my knack. Right, third time's a charm. Red Riding Hood. Hello, greetings and salutations. I do hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's me, Mr. Buxton, from the drama studio, bringing you another exciting drama lesson. We'll start off with a warm up, and then we'll play a couple of games, and then we'll bring to life the famous story of Little Red Riding Hood. Let's begin. Welcome back to the interesting, hmm, ha. No, 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 no. Hmm. Ha! No, 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 Hmm. Ha! Eureka! The amazing... Whoa! Awooga! 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 The fabulous... Hey! The sassy... Mm-hmm. The adventurous... Huzzah! The mysterious. <laughs> and of course, exciting. <laughs> World of drama. Brilliant, well done. Okay, let's warm up our bodies. We're going to warm up our body doing the, uh, the puppet exercise. So, this is when you're slowly going to be coming to life. Okay. So we begin, step nice and straight. Imagine you are a puppet of you. And the fairy sprinkles fairy dust over you. And slowly, you're going to come to life. First of all, the eyebrows. Just the eyebrows go up and down. And then the eyes. Then the nose. In the mouth. He. He. Ha. 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 Ooh. 
五二三，嘿，哎，哎，哎，来来来来来来来来，给你 head， 嗯，哎，哎 ，in the shoulders。Done. Then one arm, the other arm, the wrists, and the fingers. Well done. Magic goes down to our waist, so we can move the waist around this wall that way. Oh, and the other way as well. That's right. Well done. Magic down to the knee, lifts up, and we can make little circles with the foot. Well done. And relax. Then down the other leg, knee comes up, make little circles. Brilliant. And now you can walk like the puppet. Good. Well done. And dance like the puppet. Excellent. Okay, let's warm up our voices and our faces. It's time for hot chocolate. So pick up your lovely cup of hot chocolate. And this is what we do. First, we smell the hot chocolate. And give me a nice big mmm. Can you do that for me? Here we go. Mmm. Oh, I forgot the whipped cream. It's marshmallows too. Right, now we'll do the, the smell. Mmm. We go for a sip. It's too hot, so we do this. <laughs> Lovely. So we pick up the second hot chocolate, and we're a bit wiser this time, so we have three little blows. We take a sip. It goes down to our belly, back up, and then we're sick all over the floor. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, let's do it all again from the beginning. Fantastic. Okay, now let's warm up our voice with our song, The Grand Old Duke of York. Okay, so we do a bit of marching, like a soldier. Lovely, we sing The Grand Old Duke of York. If you know it, please join in. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done. Now that you think you might remember it, let's go again. Show me a soldier. Yes, sir. Good. And the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Brilliant. Now this time, for a bit of fun, we're going to replace the words up and down with weird sounds. So um, instead of saying the word up, we're going to go bleh, like that with your tongue as well. Bleh. Okay. So instead of uh, when they were up, they were up, it's when they were bleh, they were bleh. Okay. Brilliant. Here we go. Yes, sir. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them back to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were black, they were black. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway black, they were neither black nor down. <laughs> Good, well done. 
Now, let's replace this, the word down, with the sound E. Okay, so instead of, and when they were down, they were down, it would be, and when they were E, they were E. Yeah? Again, you could do this on your own, with your classes, with your friends, and you could replace the sounds. I wonder what wacky things you come up with. Here we go. So we'll, we'll say up, but we'll also say E. Yes, sir. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up the top of the hill and he marched them E again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were E, they were E. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor E. And now the best part, put it all together. So we say black instead of up and E instead of down. Here we go. Yes, sir. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them black to the top of the hill and he marched them E again. And when they were black, they were black. And when they were E, they were E. And when they were only halfway black, they were neither black nor E. Good, well done. I think you've learned a bit of a game. So we're going to play ships and sailors. Now, if you were in the sort of a big hall, and you're able to run around, you could do that, or for the purposes of this exercise, we'll do little jumps when I say ships or sailors. So when I say ships, you jump to one side. When I say sailors, you jump to the other side, like so. Ships, sailors, ships, sailors, ships, sailors, ships, sailors, ships, sailors, ships. Great. Now, he gets some more instructions for you. When I say, Captain on deck, you stop and you salute. Oh, like that actually, it's a naval salute, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Army, Navy. Good, so we're in the Navy, yes up. Just down like that. Now you can't move until I say at ease. So I might try and trick you and say ships, and if you did that, you'd be out. It's a bit like side and set. So here we go. Captain on the bridge. Ships. Sailors, at ease. Ships, sailors, ships, sailors, ships, sailors, ships. Good, just like that. Okay, here we go, let's practice again. Ships, sailors, captain on the bridge, at ease. Ships, sailors, ships, sailors, captain on the bridge, ships. Ah, sailors. Sailors, sailors, ships, at ease. Sailors, ships, sailors, ships. Brilliant, well done. A few more commands for you. Okay, I might say climb the rigging. And if you do, you've got to pretend you're climbing up the rigging on a ship. <laughs> Just like that. If I say seasick, you do this. And you run to the back and be sick over the side of the ship. Seasick! Oh. oh, not very nice. Lovely, good, well done. Fantastic so far. Let's practice with the rules we know. Ships, sailors. Ships, sailors. Captain on the bridge. Ships, seasick. At ease. Seasick. Climb the rigging! Seasick! Ships! Sailors! Ships! Sailors! Kept on the bridge! Climb the rigging! At ease! Brilliant! Well done! Now there's a couple more characters we can throw in there, okay? So, ready for this? Lovely, I think you are, I'm sure you are. Okay, if I say Pirate Pete, you need to stand on one leg, have an eye patch, oh, excuse me, have an eye patch and a hook, and we say Arr! Alright, here we go. Pirate Pete! Arr! Great. Pirate Pete! Arr! Good, and relax, fantastic. Okay. And also, I can say Captain Sun, and he's very strong. So if I say Captain Sun, you go, good douche! Like that, okay? <laughs> so show me the guns, show me the muscles. Here we go. Captain Sun, good douche! 
Pirate Pete. Arr! Captain Sun, Kadoosh! Pirate Pete, Arr! Excellent, well done, fantastic, you're amazing, you know you are. Good, lovely. Now, and finally, if I say mermaid, you have one hand, that is fun, you could do this lying on the floor, but we might not have the space. So if I say mermaid, you have one hand here, one hand here, and you go, yoo -hoo! Okay, great, let's practice that. Mermaid! yoo Brilliant, well done, I bet that looks fantastic. Well done, oh, fabulous mermaid, oh, very glamorous mermaid over there. Brilliant, okay, let's put it all together now. All right, here we go. Everyone say, Whew. everyone say, I got this. Good. All right, here we go. Ships, sailors, ships, sailors, pirate Pete, arr, seasick, bleh, seasick, woo, bleh, seasick, oh, bleh. Sailors, Captain Sun, good douche. Captain Sun, good douche. Captain on bridge. Captain Sun, mermaid. Climb the rigging. Ships, sailors, at ease. Mermaid, yoo -hoo! Ships, sailors, climb the rigging. Seasick. <laughs> Mermaid, yoo Good, lovely, and relax. Okay, so that was Ships and Sailors. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And now it's time for our main acting challenge of the day. We are going to bring to life the famous tale of Little Red Riding Hood. So all you need to do is follow me in the actions and uh, have fun, of course. Here we go. So a long time ago, in a land far, far away, there was a big wild woods. So everyone show me a tree in the woods. A bit of swaying as well. <laughs> and uh, just next to the woods there was a big house. Show me the house. And inside the house lived a mother and a child Red Riding Hood. The mother opened the door stepped out in the beautiful weather, closed it, kajunk, and with a basket, she was picking apples to make a delicious apple pie. Lovely. She took it inside the house. Oh, didn't open the door. Kajunk. Good. First she, uh, first she peeled the apples. She chopped them, chop, 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 chop. She mashed them and she baked them into a delicious pie. Okay, so let's, we've got the dough here. Let's roll the dough. A bit faster. Lovely, good, but still lovely, delicious apples in there. Lovely, puts it over, uh, opens the oven. Puts it in, closes the oven, turns it on, tick, 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 bing, waits a minute. <whistles> Ding! Aha! My pie is done. She put on her gloves, opened the oven, <whistles> took out the delicious pie, and smelled that gorgeous apple pie. Mmm. She put it on the windowsill to cool just for a moment. Because there was a special reason why Mummy baked this apple pie. It was for Grandma. Grandma wasn't feeling very well. So Mummy wanted to send her, her daughter, Red Riding Hood, to see Grandma, cheer her up, and give her the pie. So in your best voice say, Red Riding Hood! But Red Riding Hood was having too much fun outside. Red Riding Hood was climbing the trees. <laughs> Red Riding Hood was picking the flowers. <sighs> Red Riding Hood was doing what she loved doing the best, and that was skipping. <laughs> so Mummy called again. Red Riding Hood! So you come running in. Yes, Mummy? 
She said, Grandma's not well. Take her this delicious apple pie. I put it in this basket of goodies. I put a few things in there as well. Take it to Grandma's house in the woods. Okay, Mummy. You can trust me. And off she went skipping. Skip, skip, skippity skip. Skip, skip, skippity skip. Skip, skip, skippity skip. Skip, skip, skippity skip. Brilliant. Well done. But she went deeper and deeper into the woods. And those lovely trees we talked about earlier. Tweet, 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 tweet. Became evil, nasty, twisted trees. And you hear the sound of the crows. And who should be lurking behind those trees but the big bad wolf. So show me his claws. Show me his eyes. Show me his teeth as sharp as nails. Show me that big nose of his. And that swishy tail. He jumped out in front of her. And he said, hello little girl. Where are you going? with that big basket full of goodies. To my grandma's house, Mr. Wolf. She's not feeling very well. <gasps> oh dear. Tell me, where does grandma live? Red Riding had to think about this. Hmm. 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 And then she said, I can't tell you. You're a stranger. Me? The wolf began to lie. I'm no stranger. Granny and me are best friends. <laughs> Red Riding Hood thought again. Mm, well, uh, okay. She lives just down there. Does she now? Thank you so much. Why did you go and pick some flowers for Granny? And I'll go and see her. Goodbye, little girl. Oh, all right then. Bye, Mr. Wolf. And off she went. The wolf hatched his evil plan. Yes. First I'll eat the granny, then I'll eat the little, little girl, and then I'll eat that delicious apple pie for dessert. Oh, goody, goody. I really am a big, bad wolf. Give me a nice wolf howl. Ow, ow, ow! Excellent. And off he went to Grandmother's house. <laughs> Now, meanwhile, Granny was doing her knitting. Oh, I'm knitting a jumper for my wonderful granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf knocked on the door. <laughs> Granny said, Coming! And off she went, show me that slow walking. Oh, oh dear, oh, dear. Oh, so, oh, so old. Oh, my back. Oh, my God. She opened the door. Hello? The wolf jumped in rawr, and chased around the house. He finally caught her. He opened the wardrobe. Get in there, Granny! Closed it. Now, I need a disguise. Oh, yes, I'll put in her pyjamas. And then he hid under the cover, waiting for Little Red. <laughs> Hello, Granny. It's me, Red Riding Hood. Come in. <clears throat> Come in. Good junk. Hi, Granny. I've hid to bring you these delicious goodies. Oh, lovely. Come closer, my child. Hmm, and we go, hmm, Granny, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. Hmm, hmm, Granny, what big ears you have. All the better to, um, uh, hear you with, my dear. <laughs> Granny, what a big, wet nose you have. 
all the better to uh, uh, smell you with, my dear. Hmm. But Granny, what big, hairy hands you have. All the better to uh, hug you with, my dear. <laughs> oh, but Granny, what big, sharp, scary teeth you have. All oh, the better to eat you with, my dear. <laughs> and so he chased her around the house. <laughs> she screamed, help! Now not far away was the brave woodcutter chopping down trees. Show me the axe. Hooah! Yeah! Get some! Oh yeah! I'm the man! Who's the man? I'm the man! Timber! He heard the scream. <gasps> I know that voice. That's Little Red Riding Hood. She's in trouble. I gotta save the day. Booyah! And off he went with his axe charging. <laughs> Slow motion. He got there and he kicked down the door. Hey, flea bag! Leave the girl alone! Oh, really? Uh, said the wolf. What are you going to do about it? This! And one big chop. Wah! Chopped off the wolf's tail. Ow! Ran away, clutching onto his bottom, like this. <laughs> the brave woodcutter opened the wardrobe, and out came Granny. Oh! Oh, thank you so much for saving me and my granddaughter, young man. Would you push it, push it, push it, push it? Uh, that's okay. Any time. All in a day's work. <laughs> and they all had a nice cup of tea, dumped in a biscuit, and then Granny cut apple pie into pieces, and they all finished with a delicious apple pie. Cheers. Mmm. And they all lived happily ever after. Well done. Give yourself a round of applause. And a round of applause. And finally, a round of applause for Big Bad Wolf. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and stay fabulous.